do you prepare yourself for something important? Like, say, a sport or a play or a test. Well, before you do the thing, if you prepare, you mentally or physically go through the moves or the steps or the process. Like in a sport, before a game or a match, you warm up, maybe kick around a ball or go through the plays in your mind or with your coach. If it's a play, you prepare yourself by reciting the lines in your head or out loud, or maybe in front of a mirror so you can see what you look like. If it's a test at school, you prepare by going over your notes or study questions, trying to recall the right answers, or looking for those things that you can't remember. Most of the time, if you prepare by practicing, when you do the actual thing, you'll be in the right state of mind so that you can do that thing the right way. Okay, what does this have to do with the Christian life? or understanding what it means that God has called us to be his own. You see, the last thing we have in Luther's small catechism, after the section on daily prayers and the section on the table of duties, is this little section called Christian Questions with Their Answers. It's a series of 20 questions and, well, you guessed it, their answers. The section of the explanation begins this way prepared by Dr. Martin Luther for those who intend to go to the sacrament. After confession and the instruction in the Ten Commandments, the Creed, the Lord's Prayer, and the sacraments of baptism and the Lord's Supper, the pastor may ask, or Christians may ask themselves, these questions. Then the list of questions go on. Each one is meant for you to help you examine yourself before going to communion or the sacrament of the altar. And they are really important. Because the sacrament of the altar is really important. This isn't child's play. You receive the body and blood of Jesus, given and shed for you, in, with, and under the bread and wine. The true body and blood of Jesus, here and now, giving you the gifts of his perfect life forever. In the section of the small catechism about the sacrament of the altar, we learn how to receive it worthily. In this section, Christian questions with their answers, gives you a simple step-by-step -step way to prepare yourself. You remember that you are a sinner, that you need forgiveness, that Jesus has forgiven you your sins, and that he has freed you to be his in your daily life. So next time you're getting ready to go to church, or as you wait in your seat to receive the sacrament, go through or remember these questions and prepare yourself to receive this great gift the right way and with great reverence and joy. As you prepare for this lesson, consider these things. What do you think about when you're getting ready to go to church? What should you be thinking about as you're getting ready to go to church? Why do you think it's so important that we ask ourselves these questions before receiving the sacrament of the altar? That's it for now. Blessings on your preparation. And we'll see you next time.